just as fire crews gain the upper hand on the destructive wildfire, more flames break out this time in Calaveras County with the quail fire. But tonight the story isn't the flames, it's the people returning home. I had a new stove in there. This I bought at a yard sale in the sink here and these heaters. This is what some people are coming home to rubble. What you just saw was one man going through what was once his house, and sadly, that's what many are returning home to tonight after flames scorched more than 6,000 acres. Thanks for being with us at 10. I'm Ty Steele. And I'm Sincere Tonsil. Nick Lorenzo has the night off. 41 homes were destroyed in the fire, and as we mentioned, it's not the only area where crews are battling flames. Fox 40 has team coverage for you of both fires. We'll get to Dennis Shanahan in Calaveras County in just a moment, but first we head out to Butte County where we found Fox 40's Doug Johnson and Doug, some people were turning to find their homes were just wiped out. Unfortunately, too many homes wiped out. The official counts in Siri is 41 homes destroyed, three more damage. A lot of people on Friday, when they were told to evacuate, had only minutes to grab what they wanted to get out of there. And unfortunately, while some were lucky, some lost everything. The fire actually started up on the ridge, way up on the ridge up there. Brands Longworth says when he left his home on Crestview Drive Friday, it didn't look good. The whole mountain was a towering inferno. He and his wife got out. There were warnings and mandatory evacuation. While evacuated and worrying about their home, he kept telling his wife and himself this. If it's gone, God is great. If it is there, God is greater. <sighs> when he went past the roadblocks at noon today, relief. His house was still standing. But there's no heat damage or anything to the tank. Although his property is completely charred from the underbrush with black grass right up to his back steps, it appears the fire burned around his house and garage. <laughs> I cannot, I don't have the words to explain it. It's, it's just what it is. Oh, look at here. That, that's the washer. Sadly, Longworth's luck. Oh my God. Wasn't shared by his neighbors. No, that's all burnt. Right next door, James Baker had a cabin. And that was the trailer. The cabin was right here. All of it gone. Just one of 41 homes the wildfire claimed. I mean, it must have jumped in plumes, you know. He says nothing is salvageable. Most items he hardly recognizes. This is my new stove. There's nothing left to that. Since this is a summer home, Baker says he likely won't rebuild. All that hard work, gone with the wind. However, Longsworth says he's paying it forward to his neighbors offering them a free place to stay if they do want to return. The few of us who have a remaining property, it's, it is for us to share and to help those who are less fortunate. And while we were up there, we actually got some good news. Uh, we ran into a man who said he had found his neighbor's dog. It was a dog that has been missing since Saturday night, and one that was presumed dead, and he was very excited to try and find his neighbor to return that dog to him. Reporting live in Oroville tonight, Doug Johnson, Fox 40 News. Thank you so much, Doug. Something good to hold on to after all that devastation. Meanwhile, the quail fire sparked earlier this afternoon in Calaveras County. Crews were quickly to snuff it out, but this fire isn't so much about the damage as opposed to how it started with a lawnmower. Fox 40's Dennis Shanahan has been out there all night. He joins us now live in Calaveras County with an update. Dennis, obviously this comes with a strong warning from firefighters now. That's right, Ty. Firefighters love it when people clear defensible space around their properties, of course, but not in the heat of the afternoon when humidity is low and fire can spread very quickly. Another dry summer day in the Sierra foothills. Temperatures in the mid 90s, humidity in the teens, and all it took was a spark from a lawnmower to send flames raging through this Valley Springs neighborhood off Quail Oaks Road. Cars are burned, property is destroyed. An outdoor wooden staircase still burned hours after the fire raged. Dozens of homes were in the fire's path. They were all threatened at one point. Scary, very scary, because this house was built by my husband. When the flames burned right up to her family's home, Josie Stamos thought she might lose everything. Very close. Everything that is except her faith. I know that God works so things forget. I thank the Lord first of all, and I thank all the firemen. <laughs> Claire Dolan moved her horses here to Valley Springs after experiencing the nearby Butte fire in 2015. And now <laughs> 
<laughs> oh my god. Now gosh. we had to evacuate again. It, it was traumatic for me. So her poor horses have gone through fire evacuation three times now. Nancy Glenn owns the land where these horses live and graze. This fire experience put her family's evacuation readiness plan to the test. I hear transformers booming and flames firing up and everything. And yeah, I was just trying to put the plan into place, get the horses out, get the animals, the family and everything out. And you gotta be prepared when you live up here with all this dry grass and everything. And this wet winter really brought it all out. Cal Fire Information Officer Emily Kilgore says many of the homeowners had done their part to help firefighters save their homes. I'd like to think that their due diligence to do defensible space really did help with their firefighting efforts today. Big thanks to Cal Fire and all the people that helped, you know, get everybody out and get it under control. Not a single home was destroyed. You see the fire still burning here in the 10 o'clock hour in some places within containment lines. It is officially 55% contained. All evacuation orders were lifted at about 6 o'clock tonight, and people returning to their homes are urged to be cautious and give the pg and &E crews and the fire crews still working in the area plenty of space to work. Now, the person who, according to Cal Fire, started this fire with their lawnmower has been issued a citation for that. Live in Calaveras County, Dennis Shanahan, Fox 40 News.